I sometimes hear a couple of objections and I want to put them to you. Um, you're going to pump that CO2 underground, but then it's going to escape into the atmosphere again, all over again, right? You'll have to catch. It's nonsense. If we put them back in oil reservoirs, there was oil and gas down there for 10 million years before we got there. And it didn't escape. It didn't come out. It was there because it couldn't escape. That's where we're putting it back into. We're going to put it, if we put it into an oil reservoir, if you put it into a saltwater ocean, I don't know what the hell's going to happen and neither, neither does anybody else. It's a long ways down, but there's lots that can go wrong. But if you put it in an oil reservoir, Christ, we know it was in there for 10 million years. That's a pretty good test. Uh, well, you kind of mentioned the other question, which is what if you pump it in there underground and, and something happens to it that we can't predict that's bad. Yeah. How do you know that's not going to happen? But you've just given me the answer. Can you go back over that? Yeah. So, I mean, there's two places you can put it. Put it in the saltwater ocean. At the, at that's the a deep, 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 deep. It's way down. That and maybe got some risks that we don't fully understand. We don't have a clue about we don't, it. It's we, just like we don't exploration. Right. We've never been there before. So we're drilling well one into that reservoir. We have, we have an, a geologic idea, but we don't have a long-term test on what's going to happen. And sometimes when we put it down there, we're putting it in the ocean. And we know when we put it under pressure, the ocean shrinks a little bit. But it turns it's a big ocean, so a little bit means a lot of storage capacity. When I put it in there, there's cracks in the rock below it. So it's, it, you know, there's, this is a big solid, it's like the Canadian Shield and where it comes out in Western Canada is where we're putting this CO2 in the ground. It's cracked. It's been stable for 4 billion years before we got there. When we start putting a little bit of pressure on it, some of those cracks are going to move. That's called induced seismicity. And so many of the places where they've done this in the States, they've all of a sudden got a couple of earthquakes and then a couple more and then a bigger one. And these are like, you know, they eventually get up to sixes and then they shut them down. So we don't know when we put CO2 in that saltwater ocean, really what's going to happen. When we put it in an oil reservoir, we know exactly what's going to happen because it used to be gas in there under pressure and oil under pressure. When we put the stuff back in that we took out, it's going to be okay because it was okay before. It, it's already been under pressure. Yeah. So we know it's tight. Yeah. 10 million years. 